concern six. Thank you for writing me, Lord Sir. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses. With all its associated voices and fears and fears I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? You'll have to wait your turn like everybody else. Underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought of running direct opposition to our neural peace. I find it helpful at times like this to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark thing, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a blood Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct like compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be expunged. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basest of human urges the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exorcised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us a purpose. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing field will be the day we have mastered our sins. The day Word to the wise, keep it to yourself. starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one.